All About Steam, Episode 4, the GWR5101, Large, Large Bird. Hey everyone, I'm your host, Dan. And today I'm not joined by any co-host. And without further ado, let's get the show on the road. class with a medium-sized tank engines used for the suburban and local passenger services all over the Great Western Railway system. The class was updated, was an updated version by Call It of Churchwood's 1903 3100-5100s. The original 40 members of the 3100 class were renumbered to 5100 and 5111 to 5149 in 1927. First batches of 5101s filled in the numbers 5101 to 5110 and extended the class from 5150 to 5189. They were a little they were a little changed from church wood church words locomotives than they were, but had an increased axle loading of seventeen lo long tons, uh thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine thousand four hundred pounds. The max the maximum permitted for the blue root ability. Bunkers were the standard of call it design with a greater coal capacity. Fifty one hundred number series was exhausted in 1934 and further new locomotives are numbered to 4100. The last 20 were built after nationalization as, <laughs> nationalization. as both freight and passenger traffic on branch lines declined post World War II, increasing volumes of private motor cars replacement on urban services by diesel power rail cars. The bulk of the class found itself allocated to various main line support duties, mainly baking and piloting. Often on the South Devon Banks on the Exeter to Plymouth line around Severn around the Severn Tunnel in South Wales and the number of class 4110, 4115, 4121, 4144, 4156, and 5160 ended their operational lives allocated to the major locomotive shed at Severn Tunnel Junction, undertaking pilot and banking duties through both Severn Tunnels and a low associated goods yard. Assistance was needed by all heavy trains through the Severn Tunnel, which entailed 3.5 miles of 1 in 90, 1 in 90, down the middle of the tunnel. I think 1 in 90 is like the gradient. Then a further 3.5 miles at 1 in 100 up to Hilling. If any of you live in this area or know how to pronounce the name of that town. Please tell me in the comments below it is spelt P-I-L-N-I-N-G. Several groups were sold for scrap at to Wood Woodham Brothers and consequently have survived into pre preservation. Now I'm going to be doing the cab segment. So here we have the standard whistle. And we have the third whistle. Uh, regulator, uh, reverser, brakes, handbrake, 
We got injectors on either side. We got a seat. We also have some boiling points. Indicator. We got the brake reservoir drain. We got the ATC acknowledgement. The firebox, of course. Besides this, the windows, the doors. Anyways, onto the accidents and incidents. On November 1948, locomotive 4150 was running around its train at Labworth when it was in a collision with a passenger train hauled by 5022, Wigmore Castle, which had overrun signals, eight passengers were injured. Okay, so we got to the next one. So these are all the numbers. Okay. 1956, uh, there were 140 in service. One was withdrawn, and that locomotive number was 5159. And then we have, in 1957, uh, there were 139, five were removed. I were withdrawn, but then another one was withdrawn. Uh, 5107 to 09 to 06, 56, 57, 61. And there's a lot more of that that's going to make this video drag out. Ten of the class, avoiding scrap, scrapping in 1960s, six built in the 1930s before World War II and at four built after World War II in the late 1940s. One of which was under the Brit British Railways banner. As of 2017, five run in preservation. One is under active restoration. Two are essentially in scrapyard condition and two have been acted as donor locomotives for other projects. Alright, so we got some specifications, aka, uh, sorry, I have a paper script in front of me. Uh, okay. So I got some info on it. So the power type, of course, is steam, as you can see in here. Uh, it was designed by Charles Collin. Uh, it was mainly built in the GWR Swindon Works, of course. Build date, 1929 to 1949. Total produced is 140. This has a 262T uh, wheel arrangement. Its gauge is 4 foot 8 inches. And that's basically uh, standard gauge. Loading, no, leading diameter is three foot two inches. Driver diameter, di <laughs> driver diameter is five foot eight inches. The trailing diameter is three foot eight inches. Its length is forty one feet, or for you British people, zero point uh, nine six five feet. Wait, I got that wrong. Sorry. Uh, twelve point fifty meters. That I was looking somewhere else. Uh, local weight is seventy-eight point five long tons. Stereotype is coal. The the capacity four four long tons. Four long tons. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video of the GWR 5101 class. Uh, I don't like heavy stuff, heavy names. Uh, 5113, would you like to say anything before you leave off? Oh, excuse me. That'll do it for you guys. Okay, so peace.